In this video, we are going to look at a fun speaking activity which you can use in your classes or if you're a student, you can practice your speaking skills through this fun game. The name of the game is BibliLit ESL Board Game. Let's look at the board and understand what the game exactly is. This is how the board looks like. There are different blocks from the starting point to the end point. There are different blocks of different colors. The name of the game is BibliLit ESL Game. How do we play this game? Let us understand the rules of this game. You can either download the PDF of this game and print this as your own board for your personal learning or you can use the board for teaching to your students as well. So this game can have a minimum of two students to a maximum of six students. All you need is a dice and six tokens if there are six players. So depending on the number of players you're having, that number of tokens you should have. So let's look at the rules. The rules of this game are very simple. The game will have a maximum of six players per board. Depending on the size of your class, you can divide the number of players per board. So if you have a class of 12 students, you will require two boards. The players will use a dice and move as per the number that comes on the dice. But for the first time, to start the game, the player needs a 1 or 6 on the dice to start the game. And suppose they don't get 1 or 6, they can try the next time. Each player will move as per the number on the dice, the color on which the player reaches on the board. The same color card has to be picked up by the player. So, there will be a collection of cards of different colors, same colors which are on the board. And from the collection of cards, the player has to pick up one card. Whatever the card is, the player has to perform the activity as it is given on the card. If a player is unable to perform the activity or if the player gives wrong answer, then the player has to move the token three steps back on the board and continue the game. So that is how the game works. Let us take a look at the activities and what sort of activities could be done by the students. As you can see on the screen, it is written front print. So the card needs to be printed front and back so that the students are able to identify the color of the card. This is how the card would look like. You can easily take a download of the PDF and then you can cut it into cards, print it, and this is how your card would look like. As you can see, there are various activities which would be performed by the students based on different cards that they pick up. Here, there is an example of making a new word from the word rainbow and so on. Then we have the yellow card. In all the yellow cards, the students have to create word and understand which is the word from the scrambled words given in the card. So this is what I have made. If you want, you can make your own different creative activities. And if you want to use the same, then you can directly download the PDF. These are the activities on the red cards. So we will get six cards from here and the students can pick up any card and they have to perform the activity as given on the card. Here, they have to make three new words from the word chocolate. For example, the number of letters in the new word can vary. So, from chocolate, you have to make a new word. It can be late, it can be eight, it can be cola, 
and so on. So you have to create three new words. That is what the students have to do. If a student picks up a blue card, they have to give a rhyming word and the word should rhyme with the word given on the card. So they have to give rhyming words. So the students have to pick up one card and every time whenever they move their token, they have to pick up a card based on the color on which their token is on the board. If a student picks up this card, they have to give synonym of the word given on the card. If a student picks this card, they have to give antonym of the word given on the card. If a student picks up this card, they have to act and others have to guess the word. The students can pick up any card and if they are unable to perform the activity, then they have to move their token on the board three steps back. This was the game, the board game that I created for my students so that they may have a fun speaking activity. If you want to play the game or if you want to use the same for your students, feel free to download the PDF. The link is given in the description below. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for more such videos. Thank you for watching this video.